Hey there Dark and Darker fans and welcome back to the channel. Today is September 29th and we're doing the Friday community update where we kind of check in with the temperature of the community, see what's going on and see what's likely going to happen in Dark and Darker's future. And boy oh boy do we have some juice today. Early access patch number one did come out on the 26th. There was some pretty good changes. I think a lot of people were saying this is great, the game feels good and it was mostly due to armor being buffed on the lower end and then also the nerfing of some stats such as plus weapon damage and the plus all attributes being reduced to one, although that had been from a previous hotfix. Folks were feeling that all the whole W chads could actually be fought against, even with that green gear you can pick up from the merchants now. And so the game felt really good. And then hotfix 14 happened. There were some items that needed to be taken care of in hotfix 14. It wasn't all bad news. However, the item of note is the random modifier properties that appear on the colored rarity items have been reverted to give the much larger value range and larger variety, including the plus all attributes. Since that change, we now see plus three all attributes on items. We see plus weapon damage going up to plus three. We see that true damage coming back. And as a result, boy, oh boy, let's take a look at the Reddit here. And I'm not even gonna bring these up one at a time like I usually do. I'm gonna just scroll right through these. The sudden 180 making me consider putting Dad down for a while. I actually started playing Counter-Strike 2, mostly because it recently came out, and I love Counter-Strike, but also I didn't want to have anything to do with uh, this current state of the game, so uh, we'll upvote that one. The game was finally skill-based, and then we got rid of that for some reason. And that was one way of looking at the armor change, was that they compressed those values so that yes, purple and blue and legendary armor is still better than green, but green armor gave you a chance. So let's upvote that too. It's over bros. This is a uh, Iron Mace's chance to forever fix gear disparity. And apparently they said no, I like that one. We have an amazing update and the amount of upvotes on it are, you know, mildly substantial, but not like what we're seeing on on these ones. So there are some differing opinions. Stop ruining the game. Game was good for two days. You raised my hopes and dashed them. Yep. Please change back the changes to plus all and plus damage. It's kind of sad. Why this again? Ooh, 600 upvotes. Iron Mace, please stop reverting good changes. And this is where the community is at right now. You cannot argue with feedback this loud. I don't think we have seen such an extreme reaction to any change thus far. Plus five added physical magic damage. <laughs> I didn't even know that was in there to be quite honest. At any rate, the community has pretty clearly spoken out against this last change from Hotfix 14. I don't anticipate that there will be any reversion of these last changes until Tuesday, and that's if they happen. But the odd thing was is that patch number one happened, and then they changed the attributes a day later. They gave it hardly any time for people to play with it, and the feedback I thought was very positive. It was quite clear that players really liked that change and Iron Mace only gave them a day with that change and then they turned it back on to all the high stats that could come through. Now, with all this feedback, is there a chance that they revert this change? I think there is. Iron Mace tends to respond quite quickly. However, Tuesday is the next kind of normal patch day. They do Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I would not expect to see any changes until then, but I, like many others right now, I think we're kind of okay with putting the game down for a minute, taking a look elsewhere, and let the devs figure out exactly what they want, because we hear things like, movement speed's too much, we want to slow the game down. Time to kill is too quick, so we want to slow the game down. We keep hearing that they want to slow the game down, and then they make changes like this, which really seem to go against their attitudes there. It's kind of not making sense, but we are in early access, so this is officially the opportunity to iron these things out. That being said, this is the sort of balancing that is going to be needed long term. Hopefully we see 
smaller balances, and that was something that I found confusing as well, because looking back at the patch notes, their plan was to slowly build up from a baseline. And they didn't slowly build up, they just reverted back to a change, or reverted back to an old way of doing things. And it wasn't like they were letting, oh, let's try plus two. No, it was a full on like plus three or plus five apparently. So I am surprised they went for that. I think the game is not unplayable, but it just is back to a point where it feels bad to die to someone who just has all the gear and you just have no chance again. The game does not feel good like that. And the community seems to agree. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for any comments, likes, and subscriptions. I appreciate your engagement with the channel. See you in the dungeon.